In this video, I'm going to show you another free tool that you can use to show your comments or overlay your live chat on YouTube live using OBS just like this. But one thing I like about this tool is the fact that you can actually use it to show comments coming from different sources. So it's not going to be just for YouTube. You can use it for Facebook Live, Twitch and YouTube, especially if you live streaming simultaneously on different platforms. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. What's up, guys? My name is Sam Lab Production Tips and Tools here and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's navigate the live streaming world together. So there's so many tools to actually be able to show your comments right now for free, especially on YouTube using OBS. But this one is actually going to be special and I do recommend it, especially if you live streaming to multiple platforms to be able to bring in those comments from different platforms. So it was created by this guy named Steve. I'll link his YouTube page down below in description. He did an amazing work and I'm so grateful. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link to the download page right now in my description. So all you have to do is just go to that link. It's going to take you to the download page. Okay. So once you click to it, you're going to get to a page that looks like this. By the way, I'm going to put even like download link that you can actually click when you click to it. It's going to directly download the file. So you don't need to kind of pass through the page. But if you want to pass through the page, this is what you're going to get. Okay. This is Steve, the guy who made the chat too. And you're going to go on the top here. Okay. Code. You're going to go to download uh, the zip file. Okay. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay. So the good thing about this tool, it's actually a Chrome extension. So it's not going to be a problem. Either use a Mac or PC, you're going to be able to use uh, this tool. So once you download it, you're going to get this little file into your download folder. The next thing you have to do, you're going to go to open your Chrome browser, you know, as usual, go to extensions and let's go to manage extension. So once you have access to your extensions, what you're going to do, go to developer mode. OK, so it's important. You have to toggle this. It has to be on developer mode. OK, very important. Once you're there, it's going to give you these options here. Load and pack. OK, click uh, the folder that we downloaded and you should be able to install it. And as you can see now, it's working. OK, it's kind of installed. So this is what it looks like now to be able to use it and be able to actually see it here on the top. As you can see, if I go to my extension icon here, it's right here. OK, so as you can see, it shows up here now to be able to have it already kind of ready for you. You need to click this pin kind of thing. So you're going to be able to pin it right here. You're going to click here. As you can see, the icon is already here and you have two links. The first one is the Dockable Stream Chat link, which is the link that you are going to use uh, to, you know, to be able to see the messages coming in. OK, the second link is the one that is actually going to embed or bring in uh, every single chat. So you're going to see it in a moment in OBS. But for now, we're going to go ahead and actually before we do anything, another very, very important step is to be able to click enable extension. OK, so if it's not enabled, nothing is going to happen. OK, so let's go ahead and click enable extension. And as you can see, it becomes uh, a little green. OK, and what we're going to do, we're going to click the dockable uh, streaming chat link. OK because we're going to need it. This is where we're going to see all the chat coming in. So I'm going to go to OBS right now. This is my main camera. I'm going to go to my sources and I'm going to add a browser source and I'm going to call it social ninja for chat, something like that or social chat ninja doesn't make a difference. And I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go back to my extension right here. OK, so click to the extension. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the single message overlay link. OK, so let's go ahead and actually click to it and copy the link and going to go to OBS. OK, and then we're going to go to our source here. The link we're going to paste it in here. OK, and we're going to make it 1920 by 
300 you can make it 1920 by 300 400 or 200 really doesn't matter you can still resize it uh, afterwards okay so just to make sure i kind of fix the lower third area in obs and i'm gonna click refresh browser when scene becomes available or active and then click ok as you can see it's showing up here on the top so we're gonna take it down a little bit like here around here this is what it looks like now there's nothing yet we're gonna go ahead and bring in a doc okay because we need to be able to see all the comments within obs you don't want to uh, be toggling between obs and the browser right so let's go back to the extension and we're gonna go to the dockable streaming chat link and click uh, copy so we're gonna copy the link we're gonna go back to obs and we're gonna go ahead and go to view docs and go to custom browser docs so i'm gonna add a new doc we're gonna call it uh social chat ninja i'm gonna paste the link in here and i'm gonna hit apply and as you can see i got the doc i can put it somewhere here uh so you can put it anywhere in obs you know in any way you want and if you want you can go ahead and actually uh, go to docs and lock uh ui so to make sure it doesn't move so now that we have everything all set okay we are going to actually go to youtube i'm not gonna use my personal live stream this is the cool part okay so right now i'm using this guy's chat to just show you a little bit what it's gonna look like and how you're gonna do it so assuming this is you live streaming right now what you need to do is you're gonna go to youtube okay and you're gonna go click to these three dots and click pop out chat okay what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this window we can go ahead and minimize this thing we can go to our extension as well and open it so as you can see it's already here and then we can open the dockable streaming chat so let's go ahead and click to that link and as you can see the message that i just sent to this guy who's live streaming is already here okay so this is the message that i sent and all the messages from twitch are here okay i was live streaming on facebook as well they should be here uh but uh my facebook i think i closed it okay but anyways so as you can see the message is here i can send another message let me go ahead and send another message say hello say god bless you i mean it by the way this guy is very good so as you can see so this is another message that i just sent to him now we're gonna go uh, back to our social chat and see if the message is there okay as you can see the message is there now if you go back to obs okay i got my doc and i got my social chat here what you could do now is you can click to any message that you want so as you can see i can click to this message and as you can see the message is showing right now in obs okay see another one boom god bless you as you can see the message is showing in obs so guys this is how you do it and then you can let's say if it's too fast especially for people let's say if you have many messages coming in you can pause it can filter some words in here choose messages that have emojis let's say if you were live streaming on facebook which is a separate video if you want to know how to do it you can do it but right now just give you an idea i'm streaming on facebook as well so if i go to my page right now on facebook and as you can see i'm sending myself some chats okay we can go back to obs to see in the dark if i have anything and as you can see i have so many messages coming from facebook okay so this is really cool again i can choose my messages from facebook boom you know as you can see i can show messages coming from facebook right here boom people are sending in i have messages i have access to messages from twitch i have messages from facebook and i have messages from youtube at the same time so guys this is how cool this chat is again it's for free so again thanks to steve for making this cool chat tool you can go ahead and play with it 
if you have any issues make sure you uh, put it down in the comments and let me know i'll be more than happy to forward to steve if you want to see in details how i was able to get the facebook chat and the twitch chat to be able to display the comments here in obs i'll be linking those two videos at the end uh, of this video but other than that let me know what you guys think make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet i thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you on my next one take care